For more on this, I'm joined now by Sam Fati, who is an African affairs analyst in Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us on the program. This is the third attack on a church within two months, and the number of terror attacks has significantly increased in Burkina Faso since last year. Why are we seeing this increase? Well, Burkina Faso, first off, is facing some security sector reform uh, challenges after decades long of autocrat rule. Now, due to the changes, they are still struggling in order to get their security sector quite organized, despite the fact that they are getting some external support. However, the support that Burkina Faso is getting currently, especially from its former colonial ruler, which is France, um, is about 4,500 troops distributed within several countries in the region. It's basically to help them plus out these insurgents. But they still need some training, they still need some organization, they still need, especially when it comes to being a proactive security, uh, security force instead of being a reactive one and how to utilize and react to the intelligence that they gather before uh, insurgents are able to carry out any attack. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that they are facing, including equipment and even financial concerns. Mm -hmm. So how effective, though, is uh, the intelligence unit, I mean, since that we've seen a number of these attacks now? Well, you know, with the number, with the way that the, the attacks have increased from 2018, it was about 33 to, uh, from 2017, sorry, it was about 33 and 2018, it was about 159. And it keeps on steadily increasing. It means that they are not as effective as one would have expected. And this is due to some of the numerous challenges, including some of the ones that I just outlined. Now, what do they have to do? I mean, we're looking at a country where infrastructure-wise, they have some serious challenges, and then they don't have their military all over the place. And it means that also locals would have to know how to deal with these issues when they suspect something that they are able to um, relate this to uh, the security. It's not like the Western world, where they are able to see, where you are able to place 911 calls or special designated numbers, where you are able to give tips uh, to the security forces. Now, it, it means that Burkina Faso, like many other African countries who are engaging um, uh, some of the Western governments like Turkey and uh, the UK and France and the United States, to continue to help them with equipment, to continue to help them with logistic support. Logistic support is quite critical when it comes to addressing and mitigating insurgent attacks. The African security sectors and Burkina Faso have not been an exception, have been facing some of these uh, challenges, especially logistically. So they will need some of those supports uh, from their allies. All right, Sam Fati, uh, joining us from Washington, D.C. Thank you.